Welcome to your arm series workout. We're gonna do this from our knees. If you need some padding, you can fold up the edge of your yoga mat so you have a little extra cushion or put a pillow or something under your knees. I'm just gonna do it, uh, my, my yoga mat's pretty thick, so I'm just gonna do it on my knees. And we're gonna take our arms at chest level. And again, I have, I have these bands on that are weighted and I also have some dumbbells. Once I get too tired, I will set these down. So I have my hands parallel uh, to the floor and I'm just gonna open my arms out. And I'm keeping them, my shoulders and arms are not making any movement besides opening and closing out wide. So you just do several of these. And from the, whoo, from the side and back view, you just see that there's barely any movement aside from me falling down. So you are just opening and closing the arms on this flat plane. All right, let's take the arms and do some circles. Just the same amount forward and back. You know, you can do about 20, 30, 60, whatever you feel works for you. I'm just showing you some examples, trying to keep the videos nice and short and then reverse it. So there's your side view. Just give it a little pulsing, pulsing motion. Oh, you're starting to feel them. I've barely done any and I'm already feeling them because I've got the extra weight. Ooh, let's do some angel arms. So arms are gonna lower and lift from the side position. Take it slow. I've barely done any and that arm fatigue, the muscle fatigue is already there. If you just need a quick strengthening, toning, work out this is perfect then let's take our arms without doing the ski jumper you're just pushing the triceps working the triceps so in back view the elbows are staying in together swinging the arms down I promised some back views so you could see what we were doing. Then you're gonna take your double hands and push up. Taking, taking it slow, so this is added weight. Usually I do about a two pound weight in each hand and uh, I'm already getting pretty sore and tired, but I like it. My arms will be feeling pretty good tomorrow. So keep it up. The other side view, just pumping the arms up. Lots of background noise in my house. So again, you can pick however many you wanna do. Um, I keep it somewhere between 20 and 60. Take in now your arm at your side and we're just gonna lift the arm up, drawing the sword, my favorite, uh, legend, the Arthurian legend, King Arthur and Excalibur. It always reminds me of that. I'm drawing my sword, my little tribute to King Arthur. There we go. Woo, those are good. Just enough to get you tired and feel like you've done something. All right, then take the other arm. Do the same thing. No, nope, I haven't been keeping count. I'm just doing it for the demo purposes, but keep going, grab those weights, do however many make you feel good. All right, I'm gonna set that weight down, and then we're gonna do a hip extension exercise. So you're coming down and lifting, pushing your hips back and up. I'll show the side and back view. You're pushing back with the hips and lifting up, back with the hips, lifting up. And now the back view, coming down, sitting and lifting up. And 
think you get kind of get the picture. We'll go into our thigh stretches. So just from your knees, you're just gonna hinge back, feel your core activate to lift you up. Hinging, you can incorporate an arm movement if you have your weights on and you feel that pull in your arms and in your thighs. Take it back and do singles, alternating. I'll show the back view again. So the back view of the single arm thigh stretch, you're just reaching for the heel or reaching in the air. Good. Okay. And now I'm going to take my arm weights off and we're just going to do a couple of lunging exercises and a lizard and a pigeon stretch. So you take one leg out and you're just going to push forward and back. Do 10, 10 of these just to get your legs warmed up. nine and ten and then when you get out there stay out there and push on the inside of this knee and then stretch the opposite direction of that knee good that's your lizard and then when you go into your pigeon stretch the side view of that is your knee comes to the floor and you drop your hips down. Now, some people think you can sit on this hip, but then you want to try to push more to a center alignment here. So the center alignment, you know, I have to adjust my foot. I'm not in a full split position. So there's your center alignment. You're sitting you don't have to be fully flush with the floor. You can put a pillow underneath your hip to boost you a little bit, or um, if you have a yoga block, you can set it under that hip so that you're sitting up high, just so you get that pigeon position. And uh, that's gonna be your pigeon stretch. Let's do the other leg, the lunge with the other leg. Pushing forward and back for 10. balance that's eight two more nine and ten straight up into the lizard so roll your foot out to the side and push against the knee just hold it there as long as you feel comfortable then you drop down onto the leg into your pigeon. So taking your block and set it under your hip, whatever way is comfortable for you, or push, sink all the way into that stretch. Try to get your hips down to the floor. You can take your upper body and uh, come down to the floor. And you can hang out here and you feel that good stretch down in the glute muscle. And that's gonna be it for today. I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes, so I think we, I think we did it. So have a great day and thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye.